But then again, it's C++, so I don't know what their fascination with operator overloading is, but the whole way that like now if you want to concatenate like file system paths using the file system API, you just use the forward slash like divided by operator <laughs> to just add paths together. And I'm like, I thought that was a joke when I saw that like on some code, but I don't know. They just love um, their operators. Maybe it's like, oh, look, I'm I'm typing a path. Well, uh, no, 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 it, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense, yeah, but it's it just a little sense. odd to see that like in code, I guess. Um, it's quite funny though, I think. Yeah, it's <laughs> like uh, I, I saw... Uh, the guy who was that was the chili maybe chili um i don't know if if you watched him or do you know who chili is uh chili, chili tomato noodle oh, is, i think it's i've different, seen uh, a few of his yeah. videos um uh, yeah he's funny and he's awesome and um one of his videos he shows the vector like arithmetic vector and he he goes like okay so we have addition it's plus okay the, uh, subtraction is minus um, that and that and um, cross product hmm which operator would I use oh percent it looks like a little cross makes sense <laughs> yeah it makes sense so well <laughs> that's funny when you see like one vector percent another vector hmm, <laughs> what's going on there is that's... it um, what you want division wow. <laughs> that's ridiculous uh, yeah. So, yeah, it, operators, you can go crazy with them. Yeah, there was... Uh, you um, can easily go crazy with them. Oh, there was some... Oh, I don't remember what this was, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe this was a boost thing. But there was, like, some serialization library, and I think they used the ampersand... Well, it wasn't it was like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was, was boost. boost. It's like a bitwise <laughs> and the bitwise and I guess operator because it's not like a reference thing in between two things to put objects into a stream or whatever. Yeah, I, <sighs> I think they also used uh, some other operator maybe in this pipe thing, yeah. like or um. Well, and again, uh, streams, uh, input streams, they use the left shift and right shift yep. to, you know, write and read. But, but that makes sense, really, because you are left shifting something into a C out. Probably you're, you you're, want to write it pushing there. It. You're pushing it. You're yeah. pushing it into the... <laughs> that's, that's how I see it. But that was interesting because um, when that was one of the weird things when I was coming from Java into C++. Obviously, the first thing you learn about is how do I print hello world to the console? And it's like, oh. And I and then I was like, because I was doing like software rendering algorithms and stuff in Java. So I was very much aware of like the bit operators. And I was like, why why is is this what is this? How How is this bit shift left? Like, I literally spent, like, hours, I think, being like, is this some kind of weird mathematical thing that I'm not getting? Like, why? How is the string being bit shifted into the output stream? <laughs> oh, that was good times. Oh, that's, that's so cryptic. That's, that's the thing. Like, you C++, hello world. And you're already, like, what is happening with, with this? Why can't I just do system.out.println or console.writeline in C-sharp. It's so simple. And then C++ is like, well, you, you need to, you know, shift this left into this place. <laughs> yeah, it, it, <sighs> it can be uh, it can be difficult. Uh, when you see it for the first time, it will put you off guard. Right? Yeah, that's, that's a, I feel like that's almost a fair introduction into C++ and just how flexible and crazy it is. <laughs> 